I'm Raven, and welcome back to the Bard's Tale. Let's go ahead and get that going. So, last time, we beat up the dude and got our hands on the Shadow Axe. Now we need to know what the Shadow Facts are. Do we go... Well, I'm guessing as this is this guy's castle, we don't have to run all the way back to the tavern. I could be horribly wrong, of course. I'm kind of hoping that he'll be down here and maybe like lower the drawbridge or something. No, really? Uh, fine. So we begin this episode with a long, long run. Oh, it's a long run. My well, congratulations to the uh, married couple. I mentioned in the previous episode that I recorded this for, and I was, and I was going off to the wedding of the uh, gentleman that requested this LP. And that was a good, good weekend. I got sick for a whole week afterward, which just shows how good of a time it was. If if you if, if you get sick after you've done something, then it was probably a good time. By sick, I mean like you caught a disease, or not not physically, not like like not like a a bad disease, not like lupus, just like you know, a bit of a sniffle. <clears throat> In fact, you can probably still hear it in my voice. I'm only just recovered. We could be run all the way back here. God damn it. Oh, yeah, that's right. I've almost forgot this place is full of creeps now. It's fine. It's like a game of pachinko, except you're trying not to hit all the pebbles. Press F to go back to the world map. Actually, I suppose I can go straight to the mountain tower now, can't I? Uh, island tower, rather. Oh, there we are. There's the island tower. Oh, that's Stromness. Have I been to Stromness before? Chapter 11, Stromness. I don't know, I, I, I forget. My... all over the place. As the bard approached the small Viking town, it was apparent that things were dead. Literally. Hell had already made its way to Stromness, and the bard, as usual, was right on its tail. We don't allow your kind in here. And what kind is that? Bards? No, the living. You mean the only way to get into this town is to die? Yes. However, we can't help you out with that. Free of charge. Quite neighbourly of you. We aim to please. I don't want any trouble. God knows I've had more than my fair share. All I want to do is get to that island with the big tower. Do you know the way? The only way is through this town. Or should I say, was through this town. Through the Firbolg mines. But it needn't concern you. You'll not stay alive long. Nobody does. Well... Other than that crazy old butcher and the shopkeeper, we've been having a little trouble getting to them. Yes, good old Hatcher the Butcher. He's been nuts ever since he was driven off his farm. Here's how I see it. I need to get to the island, so I might as well just fight you. Because <laughs> whether I live or die, I get in. Well, you have a point there. Obviously. Shall we begin? That was a very cordial conversation for the undead. Slop, slop, slop. Uh, poor... I was about to call them Vrykel again. But they are just literally undead vikings. With their fucking spammy AOE knockback. We as well take a creaky... Creaky? A creaky save. A cheeky save. And let's just plough headfirst into this undead town. Now... Uh, I'm guessing there's not much real point in fighting all these dudes. I, I, I'm gonna run around and explore, of course. Ooh, Addistons. Thank you. I see something over here. I wonder if we can find this butcher and what have you. You must be that crazy old butcher I heard about. 
I thought I'd never see you again. Excuse me? D don't play games with me, Garrett. I thought I remembered the Droger getting you, but I guess I was wrong, because here you are. I think you've got the wrong person. Oh, don't be stupid. How could I not know? My own brother. Ah, yes, well then, I guess you're right. Uh, it's been a long time, eh? Uh, brother. Yes, it has been. It's been rough these last few weeks trying to survive alone. Well, there's the old shopkeeper, but he's crazy. It's a shame when your only companion is a crazy person, isn't it? You can say that again, why? Why, ever since my boy, my only son. You all right there, brother? What? Oh, William! William, it is you! Oh, my son, I can't believe it's you! I thought you lost when you went off looking for that axe. Ah. Uh. Oh, gods, get off me, old man. Oh, no shame in public affection, my boy. You're my only son, and there's nobody else around. Well, <laughs> nobody living, except maybe that crazy shopkeeper. I hate to interrupt, uh, father, uh, but do you know the way to the Firebolt Mines? What? Oh, of course I do, my boy. You know our farm is right next to the mine entrance. Why, our family's been trading with those furball for generations. Great. Let's go to the farm. Uh, Dad. Mm, you had better lead the way. All this excitement has caused me to forget which way it is. We must head through the graveyard. Of course, naturally, through the graveyard. Just once it would be nice if the way to get someplace were through a field of flowers. Good time. The bard couldn't help but think that once this was all over, he had a new friend he could share a drink with. He was in fact quite overwhelmed by the thrill of spending hours on end with the crazy old butcher. Oh, shut up. That's not what I'm thinking and you know it. What, what was that, son? Nothing. I mean, father. I always forget to turn something off, but everyone else saw that dancing troll guy, right? Alright, there we go. Now Skype is turned off. Right, let's go check out that dancing frickin' troll thing. What are you granny, doing? Come on, Granny! Bust those bunions with ya! Good day to you, my traveling friend. You're either very brave or very stupid to be wandering around this town today. In case you haven't noticed, the dead seem to be rising from their graves. Really? I hadn't noticed. I'm just out scouting locations for some land to build a house on. I was thinking of retiring here. <laughs> a sarcastic one, are you? A man I can relate to. Perhaps I can help you with a magical tool if you think you're worthy. Hmm. I would be happy about that, but he seems to like the sarcasm. Thus far on this journey, I've only met two types of people. Those that have helped me, and those that I've killed. Which type are you? Excellent. It'll be my honor to help out a nasty sort of man like yourself. Please, take this tool and use it in good hand. Cool. Well, that was, uh, brief. Go, Triceratops! Use your fire charge! It's not very effective. At least we can kill things fast enough. Oh, no you don't. I saw you try to take out my old lady. Hopefully it's not coming through on the microphone, but someone is sort of cutting something with a router. Or router. Oh, oh no you don't. More out of stones. Chop, coming chop. Coming to the bard that in Stromness a population boom was in progress. Whenever he killed one Draugr, there was another popping up to take his place. Our hero was in a definite die-die situation. I guess that's the game's subtle way of telling me not to bother. Which I'm absolutely fine with. If the game doesn't want me to bother, <laughs> I'm not gonna bother. Okay, there's a way through down there. Let's try to find the shopkeeper. I bet the shopkeeper has something interesting. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Let's just a save point. 
What's across? What's, what's along here? Yeah? Is this the shopkeeper? Go away. Can you read? I'm a traveller who needs to purchase some wares. Huh? I've fallen for that one before. Are you dead? Do I sound dead? Yes. I assure you I'm not. Just let me in. You see, I can't take the chance. If you go and grab that crazy butcher and bring him back with you, I will let you in. I trust him. You don't trust me, but you trust a crazy butcher? <laughs> that makes sense. Crazy is my middle name. Now go away. Oh, the butcher's not following me. Alright. Why isn't he following me? Do I have to, like, carry him or something? Do I have to hold his hand? What is his name? E.E.? -E? This is not too far. Oh, I see, that's a... <laughs> Whoops. Hildy, come this way! Hildy? Who the frack is Hildy? Oh, he's talking to me. Because let me guess, if I go too far away from him, he'll just stop. Oh, God, he's... Okay, he's slow. He's slow. Somebody in need of healing. Rush as the tree that I fell out of and broke my wrist. I'll be lucky it wasn't your neck. I hunger. Hildy, come this way. Hmm. Ready to see. Let's just keep. Uh, why are you taking this very long convoluted route? George, attack! Hell, take you! Hildy, come this way! Freaking useless summoning companions! Hildy, come this way! We well, might as well use Hearn, but then Hearn's not actually going to do anything. So I guess Granny, come on. We'll grab a, a grab a cheeky heal, then maybe activate Lord. This is Lord no Lord. Uh, I can't remember what his name was. Oh, she restored all my summoning as well. Cool. Go, keep them distracted for just a little bit longer. Uh, may as well. Just keep them distracted. How does he even know that we need to go to the friggin' shopkeeper? Come to me. To the bard. That's right. Just gonna take a nice leisurely walk. Nice and easy, old man. Well, I don't see the butcher with you. Go away. Yeah, it's okay, my friend. It's me, Hatcher, and my wife, Hildy. Uh, let us in. Oh yes. How silly of me. You're looking as lovely as ever, Hildy. I'm gonna kill somebody pretty soon. Oh, in the same lovely temperament. Cool. Maybe there'll be something interesting to buy here, with all this money I have. Crazy Thorvald's War Emporium. That sounds like my sort of shop. Welcome to Torvald. If I'm crazy enough to stay in this town, then I'm crazy enough to slash my prices. If we don't have it here, you don't want it. And if you can get it somewhere else, you don't need it. And if you can find it cheaper, I will eat my helmet. Doesn't have a helmet. Ooh, hello. What's this? Ancient flute summoning limit four. Only four thousand two hundred. 
Today only, it's the crazy Torvalds music sale. Buy this instrument today, and I'll throw in a piece of music that I found on a dead body of some kid who wandered into town not so long ago for free. Mm -hmm, that's right. For one low price, you can get the horn and this tune. Yes, you couldn't live another day without owning this amazing instrument. Indeed not. And for that price, who could refuse? Go on. That's right, count up. There we go. Enjoy the instrument and the music. And don't forget to tell all your friends to shop here at Crazy Torvald. Show me your swords and flails. Whether you're looking to cut down, down. Kunal Trow or cutting down hedges, these items can do the trick. Mm. Jesus, this guy's got some crazy shit. Uh, so... Doesn't actually tell me... I'm guessing that's the dagger, that's just a sword, 832. And this is the two-hander. Uh, lightning Storm, damage for... This is basically a... Flat damage upgrade in every respect. So, yeah. It slices, it dices, and it can be yours, my friend. Free crate, the sword of king. No, 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 the sword of gods. It's beautifully balanced, and the ladies will be clamoring for you, and your sword size does matter. <laughs> He's not called Crazy Thorfeld for nothing. Yeah, count out those coins. Yeah, I'll take that off your hands. You get more with a claymore. What Very good. Way of shields and armor. Crazy Torvald understands the importance of keeping one's head, and what better way to do that than with some quality armor at insanely cheap prices? Hmm, healing shield. Well, I have a lot of gold, but I don't have that much. Sorry, I don't have a lot of silver. Oh, I don't have that much silver. See you, old man. Uh, he does seem to have a quest icon, not sure why. But, since I'm here... Let's go ahead and summon everything that I can. Uh, I want you... <laughs> they made flute versions for everything. Uh, what else do I want? Hmm... A good question. I might get the Firefly back. Because that way we'll get the stun, and the stun is pretty useful. So that I'll get the Hulk, because he has a sort of temporary stunny type knockback thing. Yeah, we'll go with the Firefly. Lost in the dark. Yeah, that'll do. She still has a quest icon, but oh, can't do much about that. Maybe I can come back later when I have some more money. Who knows? Chances are I'll probably uh, find Hildy, come this way. find better stuff. And at least I got rid of that axe. I mean, the, the axe is fine, but I'm far happier having the uh, claymore over the axe. It's, it's far more interesting to look at. Excuse you. That's some fine backward chanting you've got going on there. Just gonna nip off around here. Here we go. Hildy, come this way. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Over here. No need to raise your voice. Be right there. Charge! Attack! So now I guess he's going to walk a long route down to the south. Come to me. No need to raise your voice. Be right there. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Slice, slice, slice. Hildy, come this way. Ugh, well, useless. Frick in useless. I mean, to me, shouldn't be don't attack. To me, should be defend me in a short radius. Hold back. Right Stand behind you, Jerry. Over here. No need to raise your voice, be Attack! right there! Hildy, come this way! Hildy, 
come this way. Old man McMorty lived in this house. Heard his son was a chosen one. Just like you. Really? How did he fit? Well, the droger split him like a ripe tomato. Hildy, come this way. I'm not quite sure how they expect you to continue moving and to uh, fight off the guys, because the radius in which you have to follow the guy is so small. Hildy, come this way. Nice. Look at that zap. I have taken my me. measure Attack. of the Just keep moving, don't look down. I remembered when she died, there wasn't enough wood to build her coffin. Poor Bessie me. Yeah, you said that already. Died, there wasn't enough wood to build her coffin. Hildy, come this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good thing this guy can't die. Come this me. way, brother. Don't to raise your voice. Be right there. Garrett, where have you been? Let's go home. Granny. Come on, Granny! Bust those bunions with ya! Be healed! Over here! In a moment, my pretty! Charge! Oh, hunger! Attack! Hell take you! Hildy, come this way! You know, if you really wanted gold, you could uh, silver. This you could is probably. This spot, Garrett, where I found the body of old Torridale Jones. Oh, gives me a shiver. Never seen a real dead body Over before. It. To the bard. You'll never have to. God damn, this stone is in the way. At last. Well, glad that's over with. Things seem much quieter over here. Yes, they do. Hilda, when did you get here? Oh, my wife. Give us a kiss. You so much as come anywhere near me, I'm gonna knock you out. It tells you. You never change my love. With that, the bard found himself thinking that... Stop telling me what I'm thinking. Okay, we're just leaving, are we? Come to me. Cool. In a moment, my pretty. Healer. If you wanted to farm silver, you could probably s just stand there with your companions and just. As the bard and his best friend, father, brother, and husband approached the farm, things were eerily quiet. Soon, however, the bard witnessed the sight that had driven Hatcher from his farm. People weren't the only things rising from the dead. And these hacked up animals were quite annoyed at how they'd been treated by the butcher. There was a strong case here for a vegetarian lifestyle. I have something that will help. Father's old bow. This way, brother. Back to brother, is it? Uh, better than Hildy, I suppose. All right, I can take out some animals. Animals is fine. Uh, this safe. Way, brother. Safe point is also fine. This way, brother. Shouldn't have done that. <coughs> oh, wow, it's a chicken. Oh, wow, they really went all out with these undead. This way, brother. It's been too long. I'm not sure how your father's old bow could be better than the magical ones I'm carrying. Oh, they're sheep. Oh. Little sheepy. Wow, undead sheep are friggin' tough. Yeah, dudes where dudes are, uh, deserved. Best. 
They could have just re sent more of those goddamn skeletons or just reskinned a friggin' wolf or something. Hildy, come this way. They actually made a whole bunch of undead granny, sheep. Come on, Granny. Bust those bunions with ya. Hildy, come this way. Uh, this way, brother. Hmm. I feel like I need to change companions. Hildy, come this way. Hildy, come this way. Thou art found wanting.